Hello, welcome to Goodman Developer Tutorial on how to manage your content management website or CMS website. I am Jomar and this is our third tutorial on how to manage your website. Today we are going to discuss how to add logo to your website master page or main page. If you are following my last tutorial in one and two, you should already know about how to look at your login page and also add logo to your login page and in number T we are going to discuss it today so let's get started we already redirected our login page in this login so that we can access to our administrator panel password So in our dashboard, in our administrator panel, let's look at to appearance in a left side pane, hover your mouse, then choose dim option. And after that, proceed to the heating settings. So here it is, you can see, this is a site logo section. So there is a description here if you can follow this is the logo settings it says and upload your logo image and resize it if needed if you leave logo image field empty site title from general settings will be used as logo what it means to say is site title from general settings will be used as a logo text definitely just because if you can see in our website right now it is uses our website title as a logo just because our logo is empty so this is our logo section this must be our url of our logo it must be displayed here if we have our logo added but it is empty and that's why the title of our website is uses to to replace as our logo so let's upload our logo if you remember in our part 2 tutorial we already uploaded our logo to add our login page if you can see it here in media library tab media library tab already have our logo we upload to our website directory to add that logo to our login page so the same media library we are going to access whenever we upload any media files to our website we can simply access it to our media library if you are going to upload our logo in the next time it could only add another image another the same image However, it, the file name should be index, which is if we already have the image in our media library, then we should have the same image but different file name, which is it could automatically index. So, since we already have our logo, we could simply access it to our media library. So, okay, here it is our logo. We got image, so this is our first, our default logo here. And this is the logo we uploaded to add to our login page. Let's show this logo. So here it is, this is a default dimension of our logo. Then we can simply change that or resize the logo to 150, 150 megapixel and we can also able to align the logo to left, center or right and if we are going to choose this logo to appear to our main page we can simply take this button use this image as our logo 
However, if you are going to, as I mentioned earlier, if you are going to upload another, the same logo again, then it would be the same logo with a different filing. We don't want actually to have a multiple image. Otherwise, our data storage will be full immediately if we, if we only have limited storage in our web space so let's have an example for that so let's upload another the same logo again with the same file name and let's upload to our media library and let's see what will happen so this is a logo right now and okay let's look at to let's stick to media library tab to access the logo so the same logo appearing again it has the same caption but the file should be different it is indexed the logo should be it should this logo the file name logo one just because we already have logo two and it index automatically to logo one just because in the same folder we could not have the same file name in the same file okay so it indexes to one it is added one digit after the file automatically okay just because we already have the image just simply take the delete button so that we can't have that redundant logo in our website so if you're going to view another logo let's take media library again and here is our first uploaded logo and let's show you what is this file it has logo.png that's why our next uploaded logo with the same file link it added one digit to index the logo so that it could have a different file let's delete this second logo just because it is redundant already continue and let's go back to our first uploaded logo and take use this use this as our logo that it would appear here in our main page this is our main page and we call it master page or it's simply master page just because the parents of our page and that is it so let's take use this image as our logo that will appear to our master page or our main page and let's save this logo okay and let's log out so we can see our logo or just simply refresh this okay here it is you can see our logo in our website master page okay that is it for now and subscribe to my channel so you can follow my next tutorial on how to customize your content management website